Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different tech tips and talk about AI tools that you can use in your business. So I'm excited to show you this new ChatGPT feature, which I just stumbled upon when I was using ChatGPT yesterday. To use this new feature, I believe you have to have the ChatGPT Plus plan, but you can also create these types of images using a free AI tool, which I'll also show you later on. So with ChatGPT, you're able to use Dolly to create your own AI generated images. But now there's a new feature that you can edit these images within ChatGPT just by having a conversation or using the select and edit tool. And this is absolutely amazing. And I'm going to give you a few demos of how it works and different things that you can do. So I asked ChatGPT to create this comic book retro illustration of a woman and her friend at a diner. So this is what it's come up with. So to make custom edits with the new feature, just click on the image and that's going to open up the Dolly editor interface. And this is new. So from here at the top, you can choose the select button and that's going to allow us to paint over any area that we want to change. And on the left, there's this slider to adjust the size of the selection brush. So let's say, for example, I'm gonna make this a bit smaller and I want to remove this salt shaker. I've selected the area I want to edit and I'm just going to go to the side here on the right and say, remove salt shaker. And just like that, it removed the salt shaker. Let's try to add something this time. I'm going to adjust the selection brush down and I want to change her hairstyle and make it a short brown bob. Short brown bob hairstyle, enter. Okay, so they went ahead and changed her hairstyle. You can see it's still blonde, but they did a pretty good job of changing it to a bob. Now I accidentally selected some of her hand as well. So her hand's a little bit strange now. So if you're trying to change hairstyle or something, I recommend avoiding doing that hand. What you could do is just click select and you could select over her hand, for example, and you could put you know, fixed hand, remove hand, and I'm going to put fixed hand. So hopefully it will either remove the hand and make it look like her hands on her lap or just fix the fingers and whatnot. And you can see this did a great job. I like the way this looks better. If you wanted to try it again, you could just click here on regenerate and that will give you another option. So what I really like about this tool is sometimes you just need to generate an image quickly, maybe for social media or something, and you don't have to open up these images in Photoshop. You can just do it directly here in ChatGPT. A lot of times with these AI generated images, they have these weird things like this text is kind of strange and the neon sign, this object as well, this light is a little bit weird and these things. So what you can do is just use the select tool and select any object that you want to remove and just type in remove objects. And then once you're happy with your image to download it, just click here on save and that will save the image to your computer. Here's another demo. I asked ChatGPT to create this cartoon and then I made a selection over the dog and asked it to change it to a black cat with green eyes and it did that. Another thing you can do is ask it to change the face expression. So what you can do is click the select tool, then select over the face, change the face expression of the dog. The dog is tired. Maintain the style of cartoon with these changes. Now, because this is a new feature that was just released, I think it's only going to get better and better. Sometimes when you ask it to make the changes, the result can be a bit strange and not consistent with the design. So that's why I like to make sure I mention to maintain the style. I really believe this is just going to get better and better. So the results, I mean, this dog looks very tired, a little bit strange. So I asked it to regenerate to get a different output. And then we came up with this one. It was a little bit silly. And this one as well, I think this one was my favorite of the three. But this is just another way that you can have fun and experiment with editing your images without having to open up another image editor. So if you do not have a ChatGPT Plus account and you want to create images like this, you may not be able to edit them the way I just showed you. However, you can create similar images for free using bing.com slash images slash create. It's Microsoft's Copilot image creator. 
So let's use the exact same prompt. The first one, draw a cartoon of a woman and her pet dog. The woman is blonde, blue-eyed, happy, outside in the snow. And let's see what this will generate for us compared to the image we created with ChatGPT. So it's done an amazing job as well. It's created four different images for us. And if you wanted to make edits, you'd have to download this and open it up in an image editor, or you would have to change the prompt a bit. And to download one of these images, you just click on the image and then click here on download. And now let's try the comic book style one as well and see what it can come up with. So honestly, it's come up with some really awesome images as well. Of course, you would just open these up in an image editor, or you could be more specific with your prompt to try again. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have ChatGPT Plus and if you have tried this out. You can also do this from your mobile phone as well, following the same steps. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I'll see you all in my next tutorial.